This is the hairstyle for the 2014 Point Me to Broadway Spring Recital. If you want to know how we achieved this look, then keep watching. To achieve this hairstyle, we use the following. Medium hold hairspray, a back combing spray, mattifier hair powder, a rat tail comb, or a back combing brush. You're going to need a regular brush, bobby pins, hair pins, and a donut bun maker. And finally, you will need three elastic hair ties. This is the beautiful Miss Dana. She will be our hair model for today. Depending on your hair type, it's best to not have freshly washed hair. If you have thin, oily hair, then spray thoroughly with a dry shampoo before starting to soak up the oils. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first you're going to section off the hair. A good tip is to go straight up from the edge of both eyebrows and back gathering the midsection. Think mohawk here. You are going to go until about three inches up from the nape of the neck, gathering the hair together. Okay, once you have the mohawk section gathered together, just tie it off with a hair tie on top of your head. Then you are going to bring together the lower section of hair with the brush, smoothing it out as you go. Once it is smoothed and gathered, secure it with a rubber band. Okay, now that we have the lower section smoothed out and secure, we are now going to move on to the upper section. Okay, so take your brush and brush through the upper section, getting out any tangles there may be. Now what you're going to do is take a rat tail comb or a comb that has a pick on the end along with some mattifying hair powder if you have it. It works great for adding a lot of texture especially if you have really silky hair or clean hair. Using either a rat tail comb or your pinky finger just section off small pieces of hair in the mohawk section tapping or puffing the mattifying power into the part. Once you do this, what you're going to want to do is massage the powder into the hair. It creates a really good texture to work with. Then you're going to take either your back combing brush or a regular comb with a rat tail on the end along with some back combing spray I like this from Redken, it's called Quick Tease 15. And we're ready to start back combing. Okay, so to back comb, what you're going to want to do is hold the hair sections up tightly, spray the back combing spray, then take your back combing brush or comb, starting at the root and comb down toward the scalp. You are going to back comb, working up to the middle of the hair shaft. Okay, so we finished with that. As you can see, there's a lot of poof going on here, which is exactly what we want. Fine tune some of your back combing and then take your brush, start to smooth out the top layer 
don't pull tightly because you're going to pull out the back combing you just did. Brush the top layer just enough to get out any obvious back combing tangles that you can see. Okay, so once you brush out the tangles in that top layer, you're going to slowly start to gather the hair, creating another little ponytail right above the other. Apply some hairspray holding down any flyaways that there may be. Also, when you're brushing, don't pull back. Try to pu push up against the crown, keeping a really nice round look there. Once you have the top section smoothed out, then you're gonna gently take a brush and brush out any tangles that might be in that lower ponytail area. Then you're going to gather that hair, pushing forward on the bump area, carefully securing the ponytail to the other ponytail with a rubber band. Continue to use the brush to hold back any flyaways and use hairspray as needed. You may have to use a rat tail comb to gently pull up, keeping that nice round bump secure. The first way we will show you works best with longer, thicker hair with little to no layers in it. You are going to divide the ponytail into two sections of hair. You are going to start twisting them both. As you are twisting, wrap the hair around creating a bun. As you are twisting, use hairpins to secure the start of the bun to the scalp of the hair, like we're showing you now. Continue to add hairpins and twist the hair as you're going around the bun. Okay, so once you get close to the end of putting your hairpins in and having the hair all secure, Spray it thoroughly with some hairspray and then it's always nice to add a little hair net around and also secure that with pins just in case, you know, when you're performing it doesn't come out. This would be the completed look for version 1 of this hairstyle. Keep watching for version 2. Version two, you are going to take a donut that is the same or similar color to your hair. You are going to put it on the base of the ponytail. As the head goes forward, you are basically going to fan out the hair around the donut maker like this. Give it a good spray with hairspray to secure the flyaways. Then watch as Miss Nikki takes the rubber band and puts it over the bun maker and hair, creating a perfect looking bun. Oh yeah, yeah. With that leftover hair, all you're going to do is take a comb and start to wrap it around 
the base of the bun, smoothing out any tangles that might be there. Use some hairspray with the available hair to assure that as you wrap around, no little layers or flyaways will be poking out. Once you get close to the end, you can start securing the hair wrapped around with hairpins. Like this. Once you have the hair secure, take your hairspray, spraying the bun and the bump, making sure that it's extremely secure for recital day. Okay, we're finished. This is version two of the 2014 spring recital hairstyle. Version two of this hairstyle is appropriate for thin hair, short hair, or layered hair. This is one more look of the final hairstyle for the 2014 Point Me to Broadway recital production. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and we'll try best to answer any questions you may have. Good luck and have fun at the recital.